Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr, and you are talking with Tiff. Alright, before I do this, I need to take a shot. There's a narrative of fear going around that I keep hearing from friends, family, and even prominent YouTubers like Kyle Kalinske, Anna Kasparian, and Mike Figueroa. The fear that if Trump loses the 2020 election, his base will retaliate with violence. And while this is true to some extent, this fear is blown way the fuck out of proportion. Trump's base is like what? 35%, yet Kyle, Anna, and Mike act as if all 35% will rise up and attack? That they'll band together to form a massive far-right militia, where they will violently shoot people who don't look like them or think like them. Where they'll create bloodbaths in the street, the likes of which you've never seen. An all-out civil war that will plunge the country into chaos. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The majority of conservatives are level 99 cowards. All bark and no fight. Sure, they may put on a tough guy act, but it's just to hide their insecurities and shortcomings, like the fact they can't pleasure their wives sexually anymore. If Trump loses, and I hope he does, you know what the majority of Trump supporters will do? They'll bitch and moan about the election was rigged for a few days, and then they'll go back to the local bar with their impotent, small-dicked conservative friends. Now, I'm not naive. I know a small percentage of Trump sycophants will commit acts of violence if he loses. The thing is, they're going to do that anyways. Look at all the right-wing terrorism that has plagued America since Trump took office. You think another four years of that Trump cunt spewing lies will decrease the amount of right-wing brutality? Spewing crap like, the media is the enemy, that leftists want to turn your sons into daughters, or that for some reason Mexican drug lords also want to take your blue-collar jobs? No. It'll make an unstable country even more volatile. Trump is already planning to steal the election because he's a narcissist, authoritarian, fascist that doesn't give one fuck about the rule of law or democracy. Most of Trump's lackeys will think the election is rigged if he loses, but not all of Trump's lackeys. Groups like the closeted homosexual Proud Boys or the low IQ Boogaloo crew will know a Biden win is legit. They're just waiting for an excuse to go out and lynch black people and murder trans women. Keeping Trump in power is not just a detriment to leftists, but a detriment to freedom and America as a whole. The erasure of democracy is at stake, so getting Trump out of office is essential. Even if a small portion of Trump's base commits violence, it's necessary to retain democracy. You'll have a couple unhinged assholes lopping as Rambo, but most of the backlash will come in the form of conservatives marching down Main Street in Fucksville with guns strapped to their back pretending they have big dicks. They're fucking pussies. You know, these idiots remind me of the men who tried to kidnap Michigan Governor Whitmer. Check it. Look at these motherfuckers. They all look related. Like, they're all brothers, right? But some of them are each other's fathers, too. Like, these two spit-roasted their mom, right? And then they popped out these two. And then these four had a gangbang with their mom and shout out these four. And so on. I wasn't kidding when I called them motherfuckers. And every one of them looks like they were raised on a diet of meth and moonshine. These inbreds planned for months to kidnap Governor Whitmer. They had a decent number of people involved, they scoped out her place of residence, they kept track of her scheduling and habits, and they still bumbled it. It's so pathetic. And yet, another reason you shouldn't overestimate these pigs. They lack the collective brain power to pull shit off. These people don't deserve the attention they're getting, so stop giving it to them. As long as a Republican is president, the country will keep devolving. So let's vote the fuckers out of the House, of the Senate, and of the Presidency. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to read donations. Thank you, Blair White is a traitorous cunt that lies in all her videos for the generous $100. Thank you, Crystal Ball and Saga are mentally inept for $50. And thank you, Ben Shapiro masturbates to Tiffany Star's porn every night for the whopping $500. That's all for donations. Have a great week, everyone. Fuck you, conservative scum.